close to, so that's what you're asking, I believe, right? Just yeah. putting the 1,260 yeah. seats at that location, yeah, raised seating, yeah. right. right. on concrete pad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It gets your hearing, gets everything. The tool it gets everything. You can deal with the other options at some point. Yeah. Make sure he felt like he had what type of seat is this you're talking about? And this well, this would be the build up, this would be the permanent seating. However, what if you do go the route of another location, these seats can be used somewhere else. Can be remapped. This yes. panel can be remapped. They can be taken with at that point. What number of seats are we looking at total? Right? We've thrown all these numbers around, but is that, is that an addition? Do anything that's there, or no, everything. All seating cannot. Or the seating has to be removed today from ADA stands. They cannot use it for facility today. Okay. So it is 1,260 seats on this particular one. The highest amount was to replace it. What was there a year and a half ago? 2,160 is what we got there. Okay. So, so we're we're talking about reducing. Yes, By based on percent. Yes, based on the saddle clubs, what they had over average attendance. And I'm talking, you know, some days maybe more, but they were looking at thousand, eleven hundred. On, on Saturday and Sunday nights at the rodeo, we actually had that seven, all of the stands full and people standing around. Friday nights a lesser night, so we didn't ever utilize all of them on those nights. But Saturday and Sunday, we were at max capacity. Both, what both what number is that? And we calculated 2160. It could be a little less than that. We were looking 18 inches per. per right. But, but if they're talking that, we're talking about reducing it by 40 percent. But you have what you would have is the area that the bleachers were. Some would stand. And, and you know, they stand along the rail, they don't lawn chairs, whatever they can get. Okay. Steve, what was the time frame between phase one, phase two, and phase three? Whenever you wanted to. No, whenever you wanted to. Okay. If, if the crowd grew and you didn't have the space and you wanted to do it, you wanted to move to the next phase, move to the next phase. If we started working on phase whatever we call it, the, the cheapest of that's what everybody's talking about. Uh, <laughs> That's Which not one the year refers to. That one there is 1260 seats. Yeah, that's yeah. not yeah. the yeah. Plus, it's not the cheapest, but it's the smallest of the big seats. Yeah. But if that, do we have to go in and tear out everything that's there before we can do anything? Well, we've been tearing them down. We, we took the other two sets of stands down prior to this past year's rodeo, and we operated with just a set that's there, which is 1260. And then we had people overflowing around where the stands used to be, standing there watching. Now you're talking about seats sold 1260 for seats. At, there were at least that many. Okay. Yes, sir. But uh, as far as the side, we <coughs> cleared the other stands out, and we would also clear these stands out. Right. Uh, Is there any way that any of the stands that are existing could stay up for one more year after we put part of the new seats in? No, sir. Okay, they can't be saved. They're not accessible. They're not accessible. Not you can run the risk like we did last year. Uh, some sort of change. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we have that on a lot of different areas. Could happen. Sure. Okay. I mean, what if what if we were doing construction? And I understand the ADA and all of what you got to do. But at some point, we're going to be partially built, and everything isn't going to be ready. That that's a possibility come Labor Day. If we're doing anything, if we get direction within the next month or so, mm -hmm. this facility would be compliant by late day. Well, I'd, I'd like to see, just when we're talking about what's the difference from getting everything done and what we're talking about? Okay, so we would, we could, for another 100,000, we'd have all of it. And if we did start working on another facility, we're gonna be in this, this deal at least three years. I would assume, because we don't have the property that this would go in right now. And it's probably closer to five or six. Uh, so you just amortize it over there, you're talking about fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year. Now this does not include the permanent bathrooms, is that correct? It's just a port line. Right. Yeah. If you did the the minimum, can you add to that? 
like the following year, you put in more seats and go up? Yes, sir. If you go to page 21, yeah, I, I that, that's it's where you would go to page two. Now, again, if you go to, to the phasing approach, that's where we were pouring the extra concrete pad. And all we do is add a set of bleachers. They make it six to 12 weeks, bring it out, put it up, tie it down, and we're done. And you have that extra seating on phase two. And then phase three was the ultimate. It's what we can fill the site. What we can, what we feel we can fill the site. Again, timing is timing is up to uh, council. You know, as far as I know, we're looking, to phase we're looking at eight months before the next event happens. So, but, then, but I thought you had told me too, though, as far as if we got challenged, the lady trying to be ADA compliant. If you are making an attempt to be ADA compliant. You don't have to shut the event down until it's 100% complete. You just have to have a portion of this for ADA compliance. You're certainly in a better position. Right. I would say that. So I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying if we're, if we're out there making progress and we've got at least a portion of them to be ADA compliant, especially the pathways, uh, the sun leasers out there that are ADA compliant, this and that, that I would think. Like that that wasn't my intent. My, my intent was that we could do what y'all were talking about, of uh, how the numbers keep changing. What else? It's really the same thing. It's yeah, just I would, we wouldn't do the whole thing. That, that's what I was getting at. Right. In the that first be, year. That would right. be and then we could use whatever's there. And we're going to tear them down. They're coming down at some point. But don't tear them down until after the first event. Then we're in another year and we could build the rest of them. That's all we're looking at. The site where you put the large set of bleachers is where the existing bleachers are. You have, you have to take them down, Rudy. Okay. Yeah, I still think we need to we need to go ahead and do the whole thing if we're going to do it. Uh, and we're talking about the difference of ninety or hundred thousand. Yeah. For all the seats. Then future additions would be permanent bathrooms instead of porta bodies. It should be, but I would recommend you stay with the portable toilets because you, you have specific events. The club base. Okay, great. Correct. Correct. All right. And council, um, whichever of these you go with, if you're making a decision leaning in that direction, uh, follow up on Councilman Marina's questions. Uh, the hotel, motel is a viable source and there are sufficient funds. We've got $2 million fund balance there, so we could have that without severely impacting anything else over there at this point in time. We don't have any. Now these are budget or general budget. We wouldn't touch the general budget. All right. So that money's for anyway. Can we Obviously, would be to continue to promote events and visitation to us. I don't think it would be to the billboards out there when they're promoting rodeo and all that stuff, too. To be to be to be Who knows, maybe we can get the hotels to do some package deals also. I'm sure. Cowboy weekend special. that are on the table for the short run, uh, I think um, I'd like to see option one brought forward, which is, that's the uh, 220, uh, or the uh, phase one. So the option one, so the high seats, but only doing phase one of it. So, so that's $292,000. Yeah, but phase one of that is the 219000 So get you all your ADA compliance to get you the first set of high features in there, and then we can look into doing the, the other two sets, year two, year three, or rejiggering that we've decided we'll we come up with a different plan. No, well, I 
I've been hearing people talk about moving this from Old Town, which I, for one, am not in favor of. I think that we should get, be able to get more of our activities going to this saddle plug ground where it's at than if it was moved out to some place that we don't know where it would be uh, at out of the railroad park. And the other thing is that I would be against the number one option simply because if it is going to be moved, I don't see putting all that money in in the front end uh, to be dis to walk away from in five years or three years, whatever the case may be. It can be moved though. Well, yeah, the, the, the sunk cost is your concrete. You can't move the concrete. So, but everything else you can move. So uh, I would be in favor of the phase one approach of. Um, setting it up for the 1,260 seats and going from there with the concrete and whatever for future expansion, if it ever gets to that point. Yep. I think I favor the option one. Um, am I correct, option one is seating for 2160? Yes. I've got two things here. I've got. <laughs> well, option one is the type of seating, and one. then phases. Yes. 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 Right here. Thank you. You're there. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I realize it's the type of seating, too. But I'm looking at capacity. Um, we're going to pour the concrete slabs no matter what seating you put there. We have to pour concrete. So it's concrete or concrete or concrete. It's, it's really just you know what type of seating you have in seats. Um, so I'm, I'm for option one. If we're going to start this, it's not going to be fit. I mean, it's not going to be something we're going to walk away from. So if we can do it all without getting into our general fund, messing with our approved budget for the year, we still have no motel. Let's just build it all. Just get it done, make a state-of-the-art facility that we're going to be able to be proud of and get the people to come in and do big publicity stunt or whatever and get horses from all over the country here or something. Just, just do it. Cows and but goats too, right? And sheep, and sheep and all, and whatever, whatever, you know, watching the little kids chasing that sheep and kind of trying to get rid of it is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. I love that every year. Oh, option one. Option okay. one, 292, build it all, add the parking to it, let's do it right, whatever. Okay, but we, we, we've got two of those up there, the one I've heard is one I've asked. All the seating, 2160 permanent seats. Yes, we we've got two options up there that we, I've heard y'all both express interest in. Is one is uh, the full blown of option one, the 292, and the other one was looking at uh, phase one, which was the 218. Tonight. You know what, if you want to go more, if I, if I'm just saying those are the two options. Hold on a minute. Those are the two options that y'all have expressed interest to look at. So what I'm going to ask staff to do is to kind of just centralize that, give us a little bit more uh, breakdown of those two bills, exactly how those work. And if we have time, we'll address it at the end of the uh, wrap up on Sunday. And if we don't, we'll bring it to another Sunday. Saturday, excuse me, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that way you can get a little more fine to give everybody the other to make a decision there. And you get my idea what I want to I thought you already said you want to do that. Yeah, but I'm doing the last thing. I want to make sure you got on Okay. No, I've heard that today. I, I had that easy. But I had a couple others that were looking at the <laughs> one. So, it, just to make sure everybody's comfortable with this, a lot of this is deferred maintenance. We should have taken care of over yeah. years ago. And that goes back to when the Dallas Motor Speedway seats were there. Really, it's on the ADA. I, well, there's still the deferred on it. We've been talking about this for years. Okay, so if staff will do that, we'll kind of get just those two plans, the 292 and the 292 at phase one, which is 218, get those kind of fine tuned detailed out and have that ready for us. Sunday we'll look at it and we'll just wrap up. And then, yes, go ahead. Uh, obviously, we'll take care of the mowing. Second thing is, we just need a timeline on how quickly you need us to get the other leases out. 
Okay. But we, we need to decide what we do first here today. But that was going to be my question. Would y'all be willing to the saddle club take on the maintenance, maintenance of, the, of the entire facility? Yes. That's what you're doing now? Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. It helps, it helps us. <coughs> yes, sir. At one time, we had ration of matches down there. Don't bring that up. <laughs> Don't bring that up about you and your girlfriend. I know. <laughs> but I mean, that's, you know, when you can get more, more revenue. I don't remember that boy was one of the Civic Club here. Right. Didn't it? Right. I, like I said, it's not that we don't want you, it's just we've got a restraint on the amount of money we put. Like the cities that you've chosen to move to have chosen not to host these type of things. We so take a donation if they wanted to give someone. Huh? Would we take a donation? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I would implore you to go to your city and turn out like you have here and have them to contribute money to it. I mean, you're their citizen, you're paying their taxes, you're going to their schools, you know. Right, okay. yeah. I recommend you move on to the next All right. 